I always say this, there's a lot of, uh, I like a lot of rappers, but I feel like too many people are pressured by the labels to create full on 20 track albums. When most of these artists, they're not artists, they're rappers. Like they make a couple hits here and there, especially the SoundCloud rappers. But like they're not, they're not into the music enough to create a cohesive 20, 25 track album. Agree or disagree? Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't sound like a compilation album, which is basically what exactly. they usually are. And a lot of these newer rappers, I think, are like you kind of have to work into creating a good project or actually know like musicology or whatever the study of music is, like how to actually produce your own tracks to be able to create a good project, in my opinion. So or who do you have think substance. that's new that, that is good at that? What? Who do you think that's new is good at that? <sighs> who is good at that? That's new. <laughs> I think Baby Keem is good at that. But I don't know how much he's doing out of it. <sighs> I think Jack Harlow is nightmarishly bad at that. I think most are. Like, that's the hardest part. I think it's literally albums are just cash grabs for the label. But you got to think of somebody that's good at it. Um, honestly, the Metro Boomin album was pretty well put together. Yeah, but he's a producer. But he's a producer, so that's like a whole different ballpark, yeah. So he has like the skill set to put something. Yeah, I, I mean, Travis I just... Scott isn't you, but he's He's good at, at it. That. Yeah, he's good at it. Um... Yeah, I just feel like I'm so desensitized, and everybody is, to just picking out like the best songs that they like on an album as like it was a compilation. Like it was a Kids Now or like Kids Bop CD. Yeah. And like they just know what tracks to go to to listen to, but like nobody really listens to things like it's a Kendrick Lamar album anymore, where you literally want to go, um, you know, chronologically. Do you think like playlisting becoming more of a thing is that is what ruined it? Not just actual editorial playlists, but people having personal playlists. Yeah, that and um, also just the whole commercialization of hip hop in general. Like hip hop used to be centered around lyricism, right? But once we got into production taking over a lot, and just swag rap, SoundCloud rap. And I'm not shitting on it because I like that music. Uh, but it, it just kind of, I don't know, took us away from cohesive albums. I don't necessarily think we needed lyricism because like, Travis Scott isn't very lyrical, but he puts together great albums. Right. And I would say some of Future's albums are put together very well. Because for me, I don't really like the whole, I don't really have a playlist. I don't like, a, like, here are the songs that I like. For me, an album, I just listen top to bottom. And if I know that I'm probably going to not listen to the thing top to bottom, I just won't even listen to it at all. Or if there's a single that already released, which is usually one of the better songs, I'll just listen to that one. So, really? Yeah, that's why, like, a lot of song. for example, a lot of albums that I've listened to, I won't necessarily know the name of the song because I'll just play the album like, oh, Get Rich or Die Try and press play on the whole thing. Or uh, Doja Cat album, press play on the whole thing. Or Lil Wayne album, press play on the whole thing. Travis Scott too. And maybe like Travis Scott listens to songs here and there. But I, I enjoy that listening experience more than having a bunch of different songs. But now it's harder because a lot of these artists can't make albums and then they're making 20 song albums. And I'm like, look man, I like, <laughs> Your singles, I like maybe like an EP from you, but I'm not gonna commit an hour to you. That's just too much. And then I'll try. I'll try to listen to two to three songs, and then I'm like, wow, this already feels like half an it's, hour. It's gonna be work. By. Yeah, this is this is this is like homework, and I just click off, and then I don't pay attention to what goes on after that. Yeah, I think you have to be either a native producer, not necessarily a beat maker, but like a producer looking from an executive lens or a lyricist to really be able to have the bigger picture of an album. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Like even Pierre Bourne with his last album, Good Movie, like I actually didn't think it was his best work, but 
you can, I always listen to Pierre's like T-Lop front to back just because it has cool transitions, little skits here and there. All the mixtapes had that back in the day too, which was cool. Yeah, that's, a lot of that got lost. I'm telling you, it's just the over commercialization. Like hip hop just got super popular. Uh, but is it also partially on the listener that doesn't want to commit to a full album by someone? Yeah. So I feel like when you get more popular or more commercialized, more casual listeners are, are involved. And therefore, you're kind of like dumbing shit down to sell well. Like even Cardi talks about that in one of his interviews, that he dumbs down his music. Because he was originally, he, or at one point he wanted to be more lyrical with Whole of Red. And then he just, I guess, chose not to do that. He, he did get it here. Like he, he spilled some info here and there, like that he wanted to sign Trippy Red and other stuff, but Cardi's not known for his lyrics. I, I feel like that's Tyga though. He, he had like the hits, but nobody ever really cared for a Tyga album. Mixtapes they would listen to, but maybe that's- I used to listen to Tyga when he had his mixtapes. <laughs> yeah, I, I like Tyga's mixtapes, but Tyga's <laughs> albums never hit like the mixtapes. Yeah, I think that he just, he, had, he got popular, kind of fell back a little bit, and then got popular again, but only for the singles, not the yeah. mixtapes. It's also kind of the time when he left Birdman or left Cash Money. Yeah. And then he was going through a bunch of stuff. Well, he was dating Kylie. He yeah. probably got demotivated too because he's like, what else is there in life? I already accomplished everything. I'm a famous rapper. And you know, I, I, Kylie actually wasn't as attractive back then, but yeah. She wasn't yes. as, you know, injected. Yeah, she was still very popular though. Yeah, yeah. I remember she she kind of put on that Nav song, myself. Yeah, she played it in her, what was it, her Rolls Royce? Her Snapchat stories. Yeah. Does she have influence? Like, does she have influence anymore is the question. Musically. Because that's what back I'm saying. then, if she posted something on her Snapchat story, it did numbers. The songs would get listened to more. But does she even do that anymore? Because I feel like if she did, like, imagine she did it for, like, Sofago's Knock Knock or something. I feel like that would low-key But I feel like now that's the equivalent of, like, a TikTok. Because I feel like the singular cosign got weaker. Like, from anybody? Yeah. Like, yeah. who is somebody that, Cardi. if they play something, Cardi. then everyone's going to listen to it? No, I mean mainstream-wise. Uh, like, his niche will listen to it, of course. And I do think he has more of a command. Like if Future posts himself listening to something, I don't think as many people are going to flock to it. Maybe like a Cardi. Kanye? But potentially. Yeah, but I think I Kanye. I mean, he kind of, well, he didn't officially strongly co-sign Casey, but that guy's not, you know. Well, he just like was a songwriter. I feel like he didn't ever, he never publicly was like, yo, I fuck with your music. He was just like, nah, I fuck with your music when I'm rapping it. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a non, let's say a non, a non artist, because Kylie Jenner was just a personality. Right. So a non artist that's like, yo, this is it. Or just playing the song, because back then everyone was like, yo, what's that song? Boom, flock to it. Now I think you need a lot of people like, oh, Kylie Jenner's listening to this and LeBron James is listening to this and whoever else is famous is listening to this and again the over commercialization man I, I feel like we just have too many rappers um like the barrier to entry is so low now like all you need like i could make a song right now i got logic pro i got a microphone you I can make put, beats i could slap some auto tune i could learn how to make beats on youtube in a few weeks you like, could buy a summer's hard drive for i could buy it exactly and you're off to go. Yeah. But do you think as many people are making music right now as they did? I feel like when the clout era was going on, there was more people making music than now. For sure. Because they saw, again, Lil Pump, like, lowering the barrier to entry. Like, Lil Pump got some hits, don't get me wrong. But he showed the world that you can just be a 
regular guy or just do some stupid shit online and be famous, right? I think that's what that whole era was about. The, what, what was it called? Like antics. Or they were like, if they were, they would probably listen to the music and say, whoa, I can do that. Right, because it was so, just like heavy 808 beat. Yeah. And then just go, hey, yeah, in the ad-libs. 